No, I wasn't dressed like this when I came in. Yeah, I can kind of feel two thoughts in the room. This guy's going to do something, and maybe I might be personally at risk. <laughs> but I assure you it's safe. I haven't heard anyone in at least four days. So uh, I want to tell you a story. Yeah, I, am, I have been a professional magician for some time, but I'm going to take a story that uh, 10 years ago, when I first moved to Sonoma County, had the opportunity to attend an event um, that had a number of uh, performers there. There were musicians generally, uh, but at the end there was a group called the Oddvillian Sideshow, which is a lot of fun. They did a lot of circus stuff. And their last act was a performer who did some amazing things. He did a uh, Polynesian fire dance for that audience, that I was a part of that audience. And I've been performing magic for about 10 years before I went to this event. And in the course of like, you know, a 50 minute show, you get reactions every few minutes, right? Because that's, you do the reveal or the, or the prestige of an effect. You go, ooh, great, you know. But this guy, in the course of three minutes, was getting as many reactions as I got in 50 minutes, if not more, and just like over the top, like, whoa, look at this guy. So I was convinced I had to do that. So I wanted to talk to this guy and find out what is involved in the art of Polynesian fire dancing. And he explained to me the prop, first of all, which there's one of them right here. This is about a one pound wad of Kevlar wick. And he told me, what you do is you dip this into white gas. Going, yeah, okay. And then you light it on fire, and I'm going, yeah, that sounds great. And then you spin it around your body, and I'm like, perfect. So on the theme of trust, this, uh, I'm actually not going to be performing with fire, because you can't do that indoors. It requires a lot of permits. I'm going to show you a different prop. But on the theme of trust, this one wasn't so much about trusting the guy who was explaining the prop to me or anyone else. Uh, that had an effect on my performance, it was trusting myself. I'm going to be the guy with a couple pounds of Kevlar flaming wick whirling around my body, and it did take a lot of trust. So what, what I want to have you take away, if you can take anything away from the performance I'm going to show you, is the importance of trusting yourself, trying new things, believing that you can really achieve something that maybe at first seems dangerous or ridiculously stupid, like a bad idea. Try it out. You may, uh, you may surprise yourself as to what you can achieve and what you can come up with. The performance I'm going to show you now is uh, the result of an evolution that began with interest in Polynesian fire dancing, but because of an interest that I had in performing in spaces like this one, obviously fire is inappropriate. So I created a product, actually, that I started a business around in 2001. It's called the Streetlight. This is one of them here. I created a product that would enable me to perform Polynesian fire dancing without fire and still look interesting, because if it's dark and the wicks aren't lit, that's not interesting. But um, hopefully you'll find that this one is, and you'll take away the idea that you can accomplish something interesting on your own.
That was amazing.